Hey geeks, today I have another tips and tricks video for you and I got something cool. Now this is not my idea, not my original design, and I didn't do the best job on my first attempt, uh, but I'm going to be teaching you, to the best of my abilities, how to make a hexadecagon, a 16-sided shape that is more or less a circle. Uh, now, I learned this technique from Jinji. I'm going to link you at the end of the video to Jinji. He'll be linked at the top of the description as well. He has a tutorial for a 32-sided circle, but in my harbor town, which is in this world, the Building Evolved world, which is why I'm dressed like so, uh, he helped me build a couple of these 16-sided circles for my church. And I had a few people ask if I could do it entirely on camera myself just to see how possible it is. So all the credit goes to Jinji. I'm going to link you to his video. Uh, go subscribe to him if you're into tips and tricks. And together we will start this thing. So what you are going to need for this are some foundations. And I recommend a couple different types. I'm using Adobe and Stone because it makes it easier to kind of see the line between the two. You will need uh, fence foundations, uh, ceilings, walls, a metal pipe or two, two specifically, and uh, pillars if I didn't say that. So you should also not need, now most of my tutorials have been S+. Plus. This is going to be totally vanilla. All the pieces I have, except I have uh, some S+, plus fence foundations to show you the differences uh, available uh, when using those for those of you that have access to mods. Uh, if you have the no clip method, uh, if you have the no clip setting enabled on your server, you will be able to do some cooler things with this, like those uh, intersecting foundations I had at the start of the video. But if not, you should be able to do this totally vanilla official settings. And that's definitely how you can do Jinji's 32-sided circle. Whether or not I manage to, uh, to do that or not uh, is going to be an interesting question. So I'm not sure which foundation type to use here, guys. I have um, metal fence foundations, but they seem to glitch right into the ground. Why don't we try uh, here, wooden? And I'll put the S plus wooden ones down here just so I can show you how they work uh, differently. Um, so what you have when you place your, uh, so sorry, the very first step is to take a uh, metal pipe and you want to try and find the vertical metal pipe. You want to try and find as close to the center point as possible uh, of these. Now, I wonder, let's try some wooden foundations. Yeah, that still doesn't do a perfect job of uh, identifying exactly where the center point is, but that is what we're going to attempt to identify. And what I would recommend doing is take the pipe, crouch, and then use your K camera and see how easily you can line it up. And this way you can kind of be looking directly over it vertically. You can look down it from the sides and you can look down it lengthwise. I think... I think that's as close as a man is going to get. So we will try our best with that, and then we're going to proceed with the wooden fence foundation. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to go back to the adobe uh, foundations here so the wood stands out. Um, now, you can use whatever materials are available to you. Uh, and actually, you know what? These dang fence foundations aren't particularly visible at the moment either. I swear they, they were earlier. That's all right. We will try our best. All right, guys, I think I have done a pretty decent job centering that. And uh, if I, I I made the switch uh, at some point to wood, I'm back to Adobe foundations. I think those are going to work best for us. And we're going to be using, actually, uh, stone fence foundations. I think those are the best. Uh, if you try the wood or you try the metal, they sit kind of inside the foundation, and it makes it a little harder to see. So step one is to find the snap point between two of these foundations that is as close to the center as possible. So I think it's that one right there. And then we're going to build off with a 45 degree angle. Now, uh, just with this alone, you can create an eight sided shape, which is how uh, GG Fizz does his octagon. Uh, that tutorial has got a quarter million views. So hopefully someday Gingy circle tutorial gets up there. Uh, and from here, we're going to have to build out a little bit. All right, guys. So, um, there are a few tricky steps in here, and I'm definitely making a few mistakes along the way. Uh, one thing that's obvious to me is that uh, my initial placement of my um, vertical water pipe here uh, was not right, because I can tell now where the center point is. I've gone ahead and made an eight-sided shape, and from here we're, I'm going to show you how to get to the 16-sided shape. So let's uh, turn off the HUD, because that's driving me nuts, and let's look for the perfect location. We're going to crouch down, and... Uh, we're going to try to line this up. Now, I've extended some foundations out in that direction. That is going to make it easier on the next step. You could certainly do that with ceilings as well. Um, I think... I 
think that's a pretty good center job. All right. So with that done, guys, we are going to look in the direction where I have all these extra uh, foundations. We are going to take our fence foundations, and we are going to build out. Now, that foundation should stay. That fence foundation should stay when I remove this. All right, and that's good proof that you are actually snapped to this foundation and not to uh, the Adobe foundation that's underneath. So you're going to extend out a second one in that direction, and with your 45-degree one, and there we go. All right, so from here, guys, we have a couple of things to lay out. Uh, we have to do two 90-degree angles off these two longer ones. And by doing so, we're actually going to be bisecting the angle. Now, you're going to have a billion snap points, but if you stand here and look across, you should find the one you're looking for. And I'll go ahead and give, give ourselves the same freedom here. And uh, this one is a little trickier, guys, uh, because you are dealing with uh, f uh, foundations on either side. So there are multiple snap points in place here. The one that you want is going to be... All right, now this is a scary moment. We're good. Okay. Um, but the one you want is going to be very close to forming a perfect corner with the, uh, the initial ones you placed here. So that looks like the right one. So once you have that... The, the new goal, and that does not look right, does it? Okay, so here's a good test. Okay, and... Okay, so there's the test. That means it was snapped to a foundation and not to the fence foundation. So you have to find the right snap point here. It was not that one. That one? Let's try. Okay. All right, so it looks like it's the outer one on this inside foundation. Can I? Yes. Okay, so there's your test. That is your proof. That, that kind of explains everything for you. Um, and then once this is done, we are going back to the uh, metal pipes. Now, the goal here is to find the center point here uh, where these two perfectly cross over. You can do it visually just uh, looking at it uh, up, up close and personal, or you can try and line it up. Uh, using the K camera. That's what I recommend. So I think that is how we do it. So with that done, our goal should be to line up the two uh, fence foundations, or the two, uh, the two metal pipes. Now, once you've done that, uh, you are going to look up and select your fence foundation. Now, uh, if we go with the K camera here, there is a point where by looking up, you have a uh, created, uh, you have given yourself the angle, uh, sorry, you, you have you have made it so that this doesn't snap, that this will slide around and free float, which is why I created all these foundations behind us. Um, now, the issue here is that um, when I lined up those pipes visually, um, it didn't uh, seem to look right. So what we are going to do instead is to zoom out, and this is another benefit of having uh, yourself be on the same plane as the circle you were trying to build, we're going to line ourselves up with it. Right. So I think that's closer to the real angle. Now, if I go number three, yes, we have a free-floating foundation, and it looks to be just about perfectly centered, uh, which is what we're looking for. And I shifted over ever so slightly. Let's see how this lines up. That's pretty perfect. So what you're going to do is now try to line this up on that center pipe. Don't go too far back. Don't come too far out. And your placement here is essential. If you make mistakes in terms of the angle, in terms of the depth, it's going to show in your final circle. My final circle will not be perfect. The one I showed you in the beginning was not. And you may have to try this a dozen times before you get it to look good. Okay. So now we literally have everything we need to make a 16-sided shape. So you will have... Um, also, uh, and, and here, once again, is the benefit of the S-plus uh, fence foundation. They will only snap to other foundations. So it makes it quite easy to find the in-between snap points for all of these. Now, uh, it looks to me as though I've maybe placed that a little bit too far back. 
a little bit too far towards this side, my first foundation. So we can kind of test that by looking here. So that does not look centered. And that is going to be snapping to this new one that we placed. So what I'm going to do is remove this and try my placement again. All right, that seems to me to be as good as it's going to get. If you guys want to adjust uh, the elevation at which you're looking without uh, moving your head left and right, you can actually use the D-pad keys. Uh, and then if we go back to the K camera, we should now have a free-floating one that we can play with and try and get the depth perfect. So I, I was too far to the other side last time, so I'm going to extend a little bit to this side and hope that that's right. So let's head back to the middle. And what I would recommend doing is leaving this in place until you get confident. That way you can go back and make some adjustments. So if we look here now, that is, seems to be much better. Um, these don't seem to be off center too much, maybe a little bit to this, this side now. But if we go around, we're going to be able to place another octagon, another uh, eight-sided sort of pinwheel inside and create a 16-sided pinwheel. And my center job is much better. I did a good job this time. Okay, so from here, you can go ahead and remove foundations that are not necessary. Leave the original four, um, and we'll be building off those. And then the next step is going to involve pillars. Now, there's two things you could do here, guys. If you wanted to, you could uh, take your foundations and build out like this, extend another row of fence foundations, but that is not needed. Um, I'm going to show you a quicker and easier way that, that Jinji showed me <laughs> for doing it. That's what I did last time. So from here, uh, what we are going to need are the pillars. Now, you are going to have a snap point uh, in the center of every vanilla fence foundation, right? Uh, but at the end of each and every one of these, um, whatchamacallits, fence foundations. So you can see already we're not perfect. Very small space here, slightly bigger space here, but uh, you should have a little bit of room for error. This is a pretty good job we've done. Like I said, not perfect, but uh, you could go back and restart and do your second pinwheel again. I'm not going to worry about that. So uh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, now, removing a pillar that's attached to one of these fence foundations can be kind of scary. Uh, so I'm going to get myself on the outside and, and try not to trap yourself on the inside. If you do get trapped on the inside, I'd, I'd find a way out other than breaking one of these pillars. So once you have done that, you're going to be able to step out with another row of pillars. Now, we're going to have a bunch of snap points once again, guys. So what you're going to look for is not this one that's a half foundation off, but this one that's a full foundation off. And once you have that, you should be able to guide yourself around the circle, uh, finding the location for each of these pillars, right? Now, you could also do this with uh, um, ceilings, uh, and, and you know what? Now that we have got this, let's go ahead and remove, this is scary, remove that, remove that, okay, and we can remove this, and this, and this, shoot, okay, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Let's remove this one too, and we'll make sure our pillar is not snapped to the wrong thing. Okay, so uh, back to the pillars going to find the one that we broke there and then we're going to work our way around and you can see we did a decent job I guess that should probably in a perfect world be directly centered inside this pillar I'm not sure um, but we did a decent job we're at least in line and come out like this like this until you have 16 of these all right and that is what we now have Kind of a cool stonehenge looking shape. Uh, the next step is kind of a tedious one, and I recommend doing it. Because um, basically what you're going to do, well, you know what? You can see if you need to do the step. Um, snap on top with ceilings. Now, I imagine if you're anything like me, you're going to find a location somewhere around here where it says foundation support required. Now, these ceilings are clipping together. So uh, I'm, I, I think... I think that might be an issue for some of you guys. I don't know if it will. I don't think so. I tell you, Gingy did this totally official settings. Uh, and you can tell how you're doing, basically, guys, at this point by the corners. Those corners look pretty decent. Obviously not perfect there. Obviously not perfect there. But some of these are nearly perfect, right? So you can see the crossover. This one's perfect. I got one, one of the... <laughs> Whatever, four of the corners will be absolutely perfect, and 12 of them will not. Uh, that's one of the perfect ones. And then you continue around until you get this. So uh, from there, the game changes, and you can build down uh, like so. 
uh, if you want to, you can snap off uh, with foundations, snap to the center. I think you should be able to snap to the center with foundations. You know what? Uh, it's, it's not giving me that option. So let's, I'll show you what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and encircle this entirely with wood walls. All right, guys, so that is how things are looking. Uh, I built with wood walls. One little tip is I think the stone walls are a little more forgiving. If we remove these and instead, say, place a stone wall on each, the gap is less obvious. So it maybe makes sense to build with stone on this first tier out. And then what I, I would recommend doing, and uh, now this would require the no clip method to take uh, to take the step from here, but you could build out like this, and then once you have got these, you have a permanent fixed snap point uh, that is not going to break, that is not going to crumble when you make a mistake. Pillars will sometimes crumble by breaking a fence foundation a mile away. Uh, so once we have done this, we are going to get ourselves to the inside. Let's go here and here. Lord, okay, and here. And then once you are in here, uh, we can actually remove a lot of what's here. The ceiling should stay supported by the walls and the foundations that are now around the outside. And if you have the no clip method, see, there you go. Freaky things happen when you're breaking pillars, right? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's because they're all... So, yeah. So there you go. That is that is what's happening. Some of these fence foundations broken, I think. Yeah, about half of them. But what you can do now, especially if you have the no clip method, and this is the shape I made at the very beginning, is you can snap these together. Now, let me know if you're playing on a console and you don't have that, or PC, and you don't have that. Are you able to do this? Are you able to snap like this uh, and, and create create this shape? Or do you get a clipping error every time you attempt it? If so, then what, what you could maybe do is this and build off with a ceiling. Potentially that would work as an alternative, something like that. Um, but that would start to mess up snap points, so just be aware of that. Not that that's going to be a problem. I mean, snap points are going to be a nightmare if you're going to try and build hexadecagons uh, no matter what. And we will place these like so. And now that we've done this, I want to remove everything that's not these 16 Adobe foundations all interlocking with each other. And there you have it. That is actually better than the one we started today's video with. Did a pretty darn good job. It's not going to be perfect, but it is going to be pretty darn close. Uh, you have a few bad corners. That's about as bad as they get. And you have a few perfect corners where the crossover is so smooth, it's barely even noticeable. So this is the technique, guys. I very much hope you enjoy. Um, before I leave you, what I want to do is take you to my harbor town, uh, to the world of Building Evolved, and I'm going to show you a church that Jinji and I built together using this exact technique. Um, by the way, uh, this comes to exactly five foundations in diameter. So if you build like this and like this, there is exactly one space in between. So it is exactly a five foundation diameter and Jinji and I added two of those towers to the Church of the Wind God in the Building Evolved world. Um, we're going to head over there. You know what? I'm going to give you some cinematic footage of the church and I'm going to do the outro right now. Popping up on your screen are links to Jinji and to his 32-sided circle technique uh, as well as to the Building Evolved playlist. Episode 45 is the one with the church. If you want to dive in and go check that out, um, I would love it. And be sure to give Jinji some love. I would not know how to do this without that guy. So thank you for watching, guys. I'm UTC. Click the stuff popping up on your screen, all up in your face, and I will see you in the next Tips and Tricks video.